Hey Cancer, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Cancer placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and you switch the roles, take what resonates and leave what doesn't fit for your situation, guys. Thank you so much for your love, your support and your donations. I'm sending a lot of love and light and happiness to you on your journey. Anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And please be aware of the fake pages that are on here and on any other um, social media platforms. Okay, guys? So, Cancer, I'm not showing my face today. You know, don't beat me up in the comments, but I just didn't feel like showing my face. <laughs> so, let's just focus on the cards and, you know, the messages are still going to get out to you guys regardless. So, let's see. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return a spell work and a dark magic that is sent to haunt Cancer and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones here will turn it back to the sender, block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through, clear, concise, and precise messages from my Cancer Collective, and protect me as I channel the messages here for Cancer. Okay, so let's see what comes out for you today, Cancer. Okay, so we have communication in the reverse. So we say deleted messages, insecure Call and hang up, prideful, fearful, anxiety, coward, mismessage, and strategizing. Okay, then we have soulmate here. Attraction, connection, past life, nostalgia, feels like home, familiar, kindred spirit, strong chemistry, love at first sight, and knowing. Opportunist. Takes chances, risk, gambler, exploit, money chaser, self-serving, playing the field, poker phase, personal gain, smooth criminal, and plotting. So soulmates can come in the form of friends, okay, family members, and obviously lovers. So this could be whoever this is, is somebody, let's see on my hand. Whoever this is, is somebody here that wants to communicate with you, but I feel like you know something, or you know a lot, actually. So they're scared of talking to you. This person is a coward. I feel like they want to take the opportunity to say something to you, but I don't know. Opportunities, opportunities coming out like this. This person is in this for the they're they're in it for their own selfish gain. So let's see. Okay, yeah, chosen. Yeah, you know too much. You're chosen. You see right through their ass. Yeah, the five D. Okay, it said divine mission, authentic leader, a guide, powerful old soul, warrior spirit, calling strength, connection with spirit, and the red pill. Okay, we have your yeah, inner childhood wounding. Exactly. Insecure, abandonment issues, feel lost, divorce, abuse, repressed emotions, project, afraid, low self-worth or value and hard to let go. And then we have, yeah, Jupiter in the reverse. <laughs> Bad fortune, weight gain, excess, overindulgence, heavy energy, problems and stress. So bottom of the deck, we got U-turn and then it's we got the Ace of Pentacles upright. So, Cancer, I feel like somebody wants to come back, okay? They want to return to you because they see that you're chosen, you're gifted, okay? You have the key to a lot of things here, okay? Um, I just saw the Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. So, your money could be flourishing right now. You could be releasing some things or letting some things go that were from a past life for some of you. Uh, maybe you're breaking generational curses, yeah, and being a trendsetter here for the new generations to come. But it's, it's like somebody here just doesn't learn because it's like they're getting bad karma. But it's like they're still in this energy of being an opportunist, though. Or it could be, I don't know, we're going to see. Because opportunities flipped upright and in the reverse, it's all sound bad, really. But I was going to say, like, maybe this person could be getting ready to take the opportunity to say something. or, But I don't know, though. It's not like they're, they're not saying it. So I don't know what the fuck they got going on. <clears throat> but what's communication here for cancer in reverse? So we have the Queen of Swords here, yeah, with the Eight of Cups. Pisces, Saturn, we got um, 
Could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So, <clears throat> yeah, I feel like you kind of like set boundaries with somebody and you walked away from someone because you're not emotionally fulfilled here. I feel like you are seeing the bigger picture of something. There's something that you see very clear. I feel like you're very discerning okay about what's going on around you what this person is who they are what they want okay it's like you understanding your understanding of something here so you you're walking away okay because you just want peace i feel like you want peace you're not emotionally satisfied dealing with this person talking to them being with them whatever the case or there's something here that you called out or said to this person somebody could need your advice because maybe they're walking away from a situation that's hard to get out of or whatever the fuck they need your advice but they're fearful fearful for whatever reason it's because i don't know if they don't want to hear the truth queen of swords okay or you could see right through them that's what i'm saying so somebody got to come with like genuine intentions they can't be coming with this self gratification kind of like energy or trying to get over on you because that's not going to work i feel like you're going to speak your truth and tell this person how they are and what they need to do and if they don't want to do it then that's on their ass this could be somebody you already set boundaries boundaries with. That's why they're scared to come towards you. Because you're very much so chosen. You can see right through their ass. What's the Queen of Swords? And I feel like you really give good advice for those of you, for those that are open to hearing you out and not in their ego. You know? Yeah, so the world. Yeah, you can even speak online. Okay, you can help a lot of people out globally. Like, you could be touching a lot of people globally. I feel like you have this new beginning here that's coming in and a cycle has closed out. A cycle has completed. And so... You could be giving testimonials or you could be like a mentor. You speak your truth here. I'm seeing somebody like visit different schools to give their testimony or talk to like the younger kids growing up and things like that. Or you could be like a therapist um, that does like therapy online or like, um, I don't know, but whatever you do, you're very authentic and you're a truth uh, speaker here. Just period. You're chosen to do whatever the fuck this is. So, what's the uh, Eight of Cups? Okay, yeah, the Tower in the Reverse. So, yeah, I feel like you walked away from somebody and they got their ass betrayed because they, they're resisting change. Okay, I feel like there's something that you spoke about that, that was inevitable here, uh, Cancer. It's inevitably going to happen. Like, or oh, you said it already and now it's really happening because now somebody is like, they're having to walk away or do something. But this tower in the reverse is definitely like somebody resisting change or maybe you, this is you avoiding a tower. You averted a tower here because you walked away from something and stopped communicating with somebody. And I feel like they, they're seeing that, the, they, I don't know, it's like they thought they was going to get one up on you or get over on you. The reason why they can't do it is because you're chosen. Okay, whatever your, whatever your steps are, they're being divinely guided, just period. What's the Eight of Cups with the Tower in the Reverse? Or matter of fact, what's the Tower in the Reverse for you? What, what is the Tower in the Reverse? Could be a Scorpio here or Aries. Yeah, the Page of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you chose a new path. You chose a new beginning. You chose to like um really do you, okay? Like you, you, you didn't decide to stay here stuck with this person. For some of you, you got a child with this person and it still didn't keep you stuck. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let me give me more on the tower in reverse with the page of wands spirit. Yeah, the wheel. Something here is faded. It was fated to happen or is destined to happen. Um, some of you guys could be getting ready to tap into like a creative venture here. There's something that you're doing that's like exciting that's gonna bring about um I don't know. It just feels like this is past energy. It's like you got on your right path with the Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Wands. You could be even talking to somebody new or this could be just like you finding that purpose and that passion in life. Okay. Yeah. The Ace of Pentacles, the Devil, and the Magician. Somebody here wanted power, money, control. Okay. 
somebody's greedy. They're materialistic and they're egotistical. So I feel like you averted a tower and you're walking away or you have... And you went towards whatever you're passionate about, whatever you're destined to be doing. You just, you didn't stay somewhere. You want, you want, um, you want to be better. You like growth. You like to expand. You like, you know what I'm saying? It's your, it's your calling to do so. So what's the soulmate card here? The Ten of Pentacles. What's the soulmate card for Ten of Pentacles? The Nine of Wands. There could be something though that you're getting ready to do, um, Cancer, that could be um leading you to a lot of good fortune and a lot of good luck here. For some of you, there's a child that's destined to come in. Okay. But you could be you have the answers about your journey. Okay, for, for those of you that know, you know. Okay, four or four on the cloud. And it's not, maybe, this is not going to be for everybody, maybe. But I feel like for those of you that know, you know. I feel like you have the answers and the clarity that you need to move forward. It's like you see something for what it is. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like now you could be, um, you could be with like a soulmate here. Or there could be a soulmate here that's like on your ancestral like bloodline. Yeah, somebody that you got kids with or something like that. Like a karmic soulmate from your past life that I feel like you're you're battling here, okay, in like the spirit or this person is giving you a hard time on the 3D too. But the nine of wands talks about persistence, not giving up, um, you know, pers persevering. And something here is an ongoing battle. You could be tired, but I feel like you're not going to give up here. You're a wounded warrior. Okay, very powerful, very strong. And so you're clearing out generational like karma curses what's the ten of pentacles some of y'all could be getting ready to like build an empire start a business this is like your your legacy wealth abundance okay four of pentacles what's the ten of pentacles four of pentacles yeah i feel like somebody's like holding on to you because they're greedy they're selfish they're only thinking about themselves they're holding on to you because you have the ten of pentacles that's it what's the ten of pentacles four of pentacles 10 and 4, that's 14. So I feel like you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Something here is protected. Anyways, what's the 10 of Pentacles? 4 of Pentacles. This one could be a Capricorn Sun. Yeah, and the Knight of Cups. I feel like Spirit is bringing you some sort of like um, your gifts here are heightening, like your psychic ab abilities and your discernment is really really at its strongest peak right now it's going to continue to get stronger yeah because you're going to be able to tell who's being an opportunist who being an opportunist and who's not these could be people from your past that's getting bad karma they shit is all fucked up okay they're looking for an opportunity to get in your way all right i feel like with the knight of cups someone is trying to be diplomatic or graceful or more gentleman like um more elegant with how they move but i feel like they they want to hold on to you though to be honest that's what I'm getting. <laughs> like, but I feel like you can see this from a mile away. And all you're going to do is block it. What's the Knight of Cups? The Knight of Cups could talk about... Someone could be following a... Yeah, the Hermit. What's the Knight of Cups with the Hermit? Virgo Energy. Yeah, and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, King of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Three of Swords, yeah. So I feel like you could be following your heart here. This could be somebody you're dating. This Knight of Cups could be a soulmate that you're dating. Okay, this person. Well, yes. Can I take, can I take these? Yeah, one, one. Bring me one. Give me the other one. Give me the other one. Sorry, God, that was my son. But, um, yeah, so I feel like you could be with a counterpart here. We got the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This could be new love here. So, um, the, the, the Hermit talks about doing, like, deep shadow work here. 
this could be like soul searching introspection okay somebody could be looking into like your love life and shit like that but this is like research analyzing for some of you guys this could just even be something about your work your career path you could be an analysis or you know somebody that's a, a researcher a research analyst is what i'm getting or somebody could actually like be a therapist or something like that but somebody's like looking into your love life and seeing that i feel like they're, they're seeing that you have a counterpart or something like that um or somebody i feel like this is like a lot of wisdom here a lot of ancient wisdom but somebody's like looking into into your dating life or the offers that are coming into you or because they're, they're trying to figure out how they can bring you something i don't i don't think i like it though what's the four of pentacles yeah the hierophant Taurus, you could be dealing with cancer. What's the Four of Pentacles with the Hierophant? I feel like. Okay, you're the Seven of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you can see something here with the Hermit and the Queen of Pentacles. There is something. You guys could be white witches here. But you have a lot of, like, wisdom. You can see through the fuck shit, just period. This could be, too, like a married couple. Because I feel like that's you. This Queen of Pentacles, I mean, it could be you. But I feel like... There's, like, a group of greedy-ass hoes over here. Somebody's, like, greedy. Somebody even could be married or... You could be in a contract, but somebody else is in some sort of some other contract. I feel like you feel the need to like protect your territory, protect what it is that you got going. OK, because somebody is like being stingy or they trying to look for an opportunity or a way in your life to do what? Somebody is just is greedy. They just want to be a part of something. OK, that you have with their problems is what it sounds like to me. I feel like you're already aware. Somebody, if this is somebody just trying to be nice to you with the Knight of Cups, you're already aware of what they're a part of. They could be a part of some sort of group, the occult, a coven, or something like that, or whatever. And this this is stuff that has played out in your past life. So I feel like you're very aware, you're very familiar with this energy. That's why you're so grounded, you're so secure, you're not worried. Okay? You could be a spiritualist. Okay, you could be a teacher. But I feel like that's why it's so easy for you to block this energy out because you're conforming to what spirit is telling you to do. I feel like somebody wants you to be a conformist, but you're not. 4-11 on the clock, you guys could be saying. Um, <clears throat> like I feel like you're standing on, on morals, values, principles. You know what I'm saying? You're not, you're not folding on your beliefs or anything like that. Just period. What's the nine of wands? So if somebody's trying to be nice and shit, okay, yeah, the two of wands in the reverse. Let it go. Uh, no, no, no. Tell me what you need, and I'll get it. Close I, the door. I was go. I need the charger for my phone. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Um, cancer. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.
dealing with it. They're restricted. They're stuck. They're bound. They can't like, I don't know. And I feel like you're not speaking to this person at all. And when y'all do speak, it's very brief. Or this person could be very cynical or, you know, sarcastic. Or they try to be funny or whatever the fuck this is. But I feel like they're in deep, deep regret too, though. Nine of Swords in the reverse. Like somebody with all this surrounding it, the surrounding cards. This person is in like, like deep regret or they're haunted by the thought of you and their actions or something like that. And I feel like you're very defensive. You're very guarded. And you're ready for battle. If they try to come towards you with some fuck shit, like you're, you're done. They already know that they only have literally a, a, a ounce of one time, okay? Barely, not even the whole one time. They got a little bit of it, a half of it, not even half, okay? To say something wrong or fuck up, and I feel like that's the end of their ass. They're done. That's it. It's like you don't got time for the fuck shit. Come correct or don't come at all. And I feel like that's why somebody is restricted. They're stuck because you already know what's up. You already know what's up. And I feel like they got a problem communicating, okay? This could be too... gossip here that somebody was a part of or there's gossiping here and shit going on or somebody's like evil eyeing some shit this can even be like your energy if you're feeling this energy of like a uh, restriction or stuck energy it's somebody else's you need to just transmute it same thing i told uh libra okay This could even be like the sudden arrival of some sort of like energy interference. So just um, be mindful, but Ciao. yeah, the Empress, Page of Cups, Ten of Cups, yeah. What's the um, opportunist card? Knight of Wands, Sagittarius, with opportunists with the Knight of Wands. Page of Pentacles. So, yeah. This is, um... The Moon and the Four of Swords. Someone could be like in your dream state, bro. <laughs> the the moon and the four of swords. Somebody is like in your dream state here, uh, doing something, astro traveling or whatever the fuck they're doing. Okay. The page of pentacles is jumping in at some sort of opportunity. This could even be you. I mean, maybe you have this poker face on. Maybe you are on your grind here maybe you know what i'm saying you're doing you you're plotting but i don't feel like you're plotting in a bad way i just feel like you're working some of you guys could be tarot readers here somebody could be watching tarot to figure out how they can do something come in with the knight of wands offer you something you got children with this person already so they could be trying to be more active with with the kids or something like that yeah, okay the ten of swords seven of cups that's what i'm saying i don't like it Somebody's like studying someone. This page of pentacles is like studious. Okay, they're um This would be someone into the occult and things like that. Let's see. What's this page of pentacles? Somebody could want to give you a gift. Okay, the lovers. What's the page of pentacles with the lovers? Gemini energy. And the six of cups. Yeah, somebody you got kids with, somebody from your past. <laughs> Okay, or this somebody else on their ass like this. So yeah, um, hmm, something feels funny, but you know. This too, this could be like a third party energy that is going up against you as well. Like, because maybe somebody that you were with left their ass 
somebody here could want to balance something out with you they want to reconcile to balance something out but this could be too where somebody wants to like get away from a third party you know what i'm saying like they're trying to get away from someone someone is like childish naive gullible with the six of cups or there could be something about kids that's like significant somebody could be trying to like talk to somebody and be like oh we got kids you know we can't you know what i'm saying like somebody wants to stay glued to somebody's ass page of pentacles with the lovers it's like a little bitty ass offer of like this could be like sex or something small a token of what appreciation but i feel like it's just for personal gain though somebody's like in and out they want to do whatever the fuck they want to do it's not it doesn't feel genuine that's what i'm saying somebody's trying to figure out how to win somebody over or do something like that and i just feel like no what's the Somebody could be trying to use kids as like an opportunity to stay in somebody's life or whatever the fuck. Some of you guys, this could even just be, um, you could be tapping into some sort of gift here that you have. You could be jumping in at an opportunity to go down a path where you're passionate about your career. So you're, so you're going towards like your passions. Okay, you could actually be very gifted. You could be working with like children. Okay, I'm hearing something about health education. Okay, somebody could be teaching health ed in school, at a school or something like that. Or you could work at a college or you could be some sort of nurse, a doctor or a healer. Like, I don't know, somebody, I don't know, I don't think I like it. Something is off here okay but whatever we we feel like we feel it's off we see it so it's i'm gonna tell you about it and you're just gonna avoid it <laughs> that's the key what's the nine of wands like something somebody is getting on my nerves yeah the two of pentacles what's the nine of wands two of pentacles some of you guys are um Two of Pentacles with the Knight of Wands. Yeah, the Ace of Cups. Some of you guys, this could even be you just like taking a um taking a leap of faith and you're getting ready to like do something, whatever the fuck this is. Okay, this could be like a, a new relationship or whatever. Um, a new emotionally fulfilling beginning here. So spirit is telling you to stay open, stay flexible with something. Cause this could be like you just taking an opportunity to do something. Okay, but I feel like with the lovers and the six of cups, you're connecting to a past life soulmates. And there's a, a chance to build on a solid foundation with this person. You and this person could be traveling to like see each other. Okay, spirit wants you to stay open to this, whatever this is that's coming in or you have. But if you know that somebody, listen to your discernment. If you know that somebody is like playing games, then you avoid it. Because I feel like that's what somebody is doing because they lost you. Three of, three, of, three of swords with the nine of pentacles in the seven of swords and the two of swords yeah it's like somebody's trying to get around the fact that you're intuitive the high priestess with the temperance somebody's just trying to get around they're trying to hide from your intuition they don't want you to see them but it's like bitch what Somebody's getting on my nerves with this sneaky ass shit. This is why they got this. This is exactly why they getting bad karma. This is why. Like somebody here likes attention. King of Wands, Six of Wands, and the Seven of Cups and the Death card. Somebody here, whoever this is, is very egotistical. They're very much so a loser. I feel like somebody wants you to be like in a poly relationship or open relationship. Like it's something like that. It's like, bitch, excuse me. somebody is somebody wants to be like a pimp or something yeah the emperor the devil and the damn queen of wands somebody is obsessed with like control here and they're mad because they can't control you but they can control these other hoes yeah with sex nine of cups three of cups and looking like they got it like this but they're really sad about you they're like damn this this the one that i want but i can't control them so i feel like they're trying to figure out how they can do it they think this shit a game four two four on the clock like, I feel like your dreams literally, what was that? Four of Swords with the High Priestess. 
Shy, your dreams are revealing to you what the fuck going on. This could be like a group effort. Effort. <laughs> okay, it's like somebody is just trying to get into your energy field in any way that they can. All right, so really pay attention, okay? Pay attention. I feel like there's a love here that's balanced, okay? The Ace of Cups with the Two of Pentacles. You're well balanced. I feel like you see something. Your intuition is very strong. And this person here, they wear a good poker face too. So if if you were anybody else, they wouldn't know. But since you're you and you see people for who they are, you see it. So uh, yeah, Five of Wands, King of Wands again. There's like competition. Somebody likes people to be fighting over their ass. What's the chosen card, child? Bye. And what's the chosen card? I don't got time. Like I don't. Yeah, Six of Swords in the reverse. What's chosen here? Six of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Mm -hmm. Okay. So somebody's experiencing like hella delays with the Ace of Wands in the reverse, Six of Swords in the reverse. I feel like somebody wants to return, but you're disinterested. And that's, that's why they're having a problem. Like there's no way that they can get through you. Okay, that, that's what I'm saying. Somebody here is getting some disappointing news about like delays somebody's like wasting talent wasting their own talents here this is definitely like sexual gratification ace of wands in the reverse of, or somebody's like really just selfish okay yeah the six of swords in the reverse is like standing your ground i feel like you're standing your ground you're disinterested somebody is not getting the memo they're not getting the memo here and i feel like they're quite disappointed like you're disinterested in me Nobody's disinterested in me. I'm the I'm I'm the head honcho. It's like bitch, you're raggedy to me. <laughs> so I mean it don't matter what other people see you as. That's because they're weak and they're a loser. That's just period. So okay, what's the six of swords in the reverse? It's like you're the only one that can see through this person. Everybody else falls for their stupid ass games. What's six of swords in the reverse? So someone Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles. What's Six of Swords in Reverse, Seven of Pentacles? So I feel like you can sense when trouble is heading your way or something. Yeah, the Eight of Swords. <laughs> the Eight of Swords, man. Seven of Pentacles here. I feel like there, there's... Okay, yeah, four of swords with the three of pentacles. Somebody strategizing, plotting. They're like, what the fuck? But I feel, I feel, um, with the seven of pentacles, it's like, someone's like waiting for something. They're waiting for something. Or this is like you realizing something. You, you reviewing something or looking over the fine print. You're, you're like seeing something. I feel like you're seeing that somebody's already invested into something and they're stuck over there. You know what I'm saying? They're already invested into something long term and they stuck there. Or you could have had some sort of seven year cycle with this person. This person here, I feel like they have a mental disorder. They have a problem. Yeah, whatever this is right here, the hangman with the moon and the damn seven of cups. Some of y'all's dream state, I'm telling you, you could be getting dreams. Okay, somebody's like trying to astral project or something. It's kind of like what it's giving. Yeah, sacral energy in the reverse. Yeah, in the moon. Neptune in the reverse. <laughs> Pluto in the reverse. Obsessed with power and control. Child, I'm telling you, this person is like trying to cause delays with your sacral energy. They're tapping into your... Obsessed with power, control, destruction, infatuation, crime, rebellious, secrets, hidden, and shadows. <laughs> This person, this person here is crazy. Yeah, we got Taurus upright. You could be dealing with a Taurus. 3D is in the reverse. Reality check, caught up, jail time, blow up, exposed secret lifestyle, counseling, ascending, ascending to higher consciousness. <laughs> what? 
what the hell is uh, somebody's like trying to do binding work or something what's this damn um ace of wands in the reverse Yeah, nine of cups in the reverse. Something here definitely about like sex. Someone could have like a sex addiction or something. Okay, or they they overindulge in certain things. But that nine of cups in the reverse is definitely like an addiction. Or um, this could be to somebody gaining weight or losing it. But it did say weight gain. Someone's miserable. They're unhappy. A shattered wish or a shattered dream has been. Like, yeah, somebody's, like, heartbroken. What's the Ace of Wands in the reverse with the Nine of Cups in the reverse? Yeah, the Chariot in the reverse. Someone's experiencing blockages. There's no sense of direction here. Without, like, your energy or... Whoever this is, they're an energy vampire. Like, dead ass. And this is somebody that's hateful, too. With the Chariot in reverse, that's, like, hate winning over love here. Somebody's, like, hateful as fuck. I feel like they're quite revengeful, too. I feel like they're experiencing blockages, delays, or they just don't have a sense of direction. This person is very forceful. They're very aggressive. And I feel like they're trying to force their way into your life or your energy, and you're saying no. Like, this person here, there's no way around whatever the fuck this is that they're trying to do. Just period. Somebody needs to get a grip and move the fuck on. What's inner child healing? Our inner childhood wounding? Somebody is tripping. Yeah, the king of swords in the reverse. Like, somebody's not being their true, authentic self. That they, They're a liar. I feel like they lie to themselves a lot. But this person, they want to control everybody else's life. This person is very abusive. What's the inner childhood wounding here with the king of swords in the reverse? That's why they acting like this. Yeah, and the seven of cups in the reverse. Very superficial, very materialistic. Okay, I feel like they, they feel like they missed an opportunity with you. And they did. And they're going to continue to as well. But this is definitely like a reality check. This person here is getting a taste of their own medicine. And they're realizing that them you rejecting them is like their worst nightmare. Okay? It's like they, when they get rejected by anybody else, I feel like they don't get, give a fuck. And they can give, you know, away with a lot. With you, they cannot do that. Yeah, they can't do this. This would be like your child's father here. The Emperor, Four of Swords, Seven of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the damn High Priestess. <laughs> Somebody here is mad as fuck. They are so mad. <laughs> Child. I feel like... <laughs> this person here crazy. What's the King of Swords in the reverse? I feel like they, they critique you. They judge you a lot. It's like, bitch, you need to be judging yourself. You raggedy as hell. What's the King of Swords in the reverse? Ooh, child. Yeah, the Three of Cups in the reverse. This person here is lying to a third party or lying to a bunch of hoes that they're dealing with. They're not satisfied. And they, they hide the fact that they, you know what I'm saying? That they want to be with you or that they want you back. They're obsessed with you. So they lie to these third party hoes about you and shit like that. Like, this person here wants to live some sort of, old, like, they want to have an open relationship. No shade, but I feel like that's not what you want. You want something monogamous. You're going to stand on your, your values, your principles. If they don't align, then they just don't align. Somebody here needs to understand that shit. Like, real, real shit. What's the King of Swords in the reverse with the Three of Cups in the reverse? I feel like they get people to attack you. They lie to these hoes about who you are. Yeah, a fucking liar. This person here is a cheater, too. A big-time cheater. King of Swords in the reverse, Three of Cups in the reverse, Seven of Swords. Someone here is a cheater, or this is who they chose because of their own childhood wounding, because they need to fucking grow up. Truth, Ace of Swords. Child. I feel like they use these third parties here to cover up voids. They just got a problem. And I, I feel like they're in for a big-ass reality check here. There's Seven of Cups in reverse. Just period. I feel like they get third parties here to do their dirty work for them, <laughs> this person. What's the damn seven of cups in the reverse? You guys would be saying seven, 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 yeah. The seven of cups in the reverse with the devil is somebody that's very materialistic, okay, and very egotistic, which is very nasty. This person just oper operates out of their shadow side. 
Ten of Swords, the Magician, the Four of Cups, and the Moon, and the Five of Wands. Somebody here is doing magic, or they're getting somebody to do this magic here. Whoever this third party is, they lie to these third party hoes about you, and they 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 get these people to do magic on you to make you feel low, or to make you do whatever the fuck. But... I feel like they got betrayed here, and now you're in a position of power. You you have clarity, okay? And now they they're they're they look dumb. Somebody at four three four on the clock. You guys could be seeing they're they're sitting in this 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 woe is me energy or like this discontentment or they missed an opportunity or whatever the fuck. Or they're not getting any kind of like results from this spell work here. They got people in secret competition with you, the moon and the five of wands. Or this is how they are, okay? And it's like a whole bunch of chaos and shit going on. Like this is crazy. This is, this is just crazy. What's the seven of cups in the reverse with the devil? Okay. Capricorn energy. This person here. I feel like they got, they, 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 uh, they on hard drugs or substance abuse here. Or they alcohol, they're alcoholic or something. They definitely could have a sex addiction. I'm getting that for sure. But what's the seven of cups in the reverse with the devil? Very materialistic, 3D based kind of individual. Yeah. And the high priestess. <laughs> We got the we got the high priestess with the hierophant here that that's upright. So that could be your energy here, balanced, or this could be you in a counterpart relationship. But this person is obsessed with like your energy. I feel like with the devil and the high priestess, for some of you, somebody could be with a dark witch here. This bitch here is in for a, re, a big ass reality check because this person is not who they claim to be. <laughs> so whatever bitches they get with, they all gonna be looking stupid as fuck at the end of the day. That's just period. Whatever they. Whoever they teaming up with, collabing with, they're in for a big ass root of awakening. Cause these bitches are fake and so are they. And that's why they're gonna get betrayed. That's just period. What's the high priestess? Somebody. What's the high priestess here with this? What's the high priestess? The four swords. What's the high priestess with the four swords? Libra, Jupiter, we got Pisces. Yeah, the Empress in the reverse. Yeah, this is a false person that they're with, I feel. Or this high priestess is you. I mean, I feel like the, the, the Empress in reverse, they're still with a false person. But, um... I feel like this bitch is in for a root of awakening. Okay. Because, like I said, this this bitch over here, they think that this masculine is something nice or somebody like they got one up on you because of this person here. This person is a liar and they're a cheater and they don't give a fuck about them. <laughs> so they're both, they both look dumb. King of Cups with the moon and the justice. I feel like that's a spirit guy that's on that ass. They're hidden. Okay. Yeah, it could be a Scorpio, Cancer or a Libra here. Somebody is like, this is like a hidden guide or this is like a hidden path here it's like somebody here is stupid they look dumb they're getting ready to be it's a big ass plot twist here because they're getting ready to get their ass handed to them or it's already happening the empress in reverse is someone here that they can control basically that, that's what they want they want somebody that's weak as fuck or they got with somebody that's weak that does dark magic and shit like that for them and and all kind of little stupid ass shit yeah, this was their plan. Knight of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords and the in the in the Three of Swords here. I feel like you're already aware of it. It's just like somebody here is crazy as hell. But they with somebody that's insecure, they're a loser. I feel like this person is still sleep. They feel like they're so woke or they can see a lot, bitch. You see nothing. I feel like you don't see this hateful ass hoe coming. And now I feel like this person has brought this bitch into your life. They're evil lying you, doing all kind of shit. So you're guarded. You're defensive. You're not going to give in to this person's bullshit. They're a narcissist and so is this bitch that they with. A fucking loser. Someone that's infertile. They can't create anything. They don't have no passion for life. No zest. Okay, just they just raggedy. They insecure just like them. Okay. And I feel like they got with somebody that's worse than they ass. This person here, they both of their ass is horrible, but I feel like this Empress in the reverse is is th that's their match. Okay, that's that's somebody that can match their ass. It's gonna teach their ass something about this this fake ass wannabe ass pimp ass attitude. It's like absolutely the fuck not, bitch. Absolutely not. 
I feel like this person is attracting all whores. This is why they're getting bad karma, but they want to live. They want to live this lifestyle, but live in your energy as well. And I feel like they both really do it, to be honest. They're both like that. What's this damn Jupiter in the reverse? So I feel like you're, I feel like for some of you guys, you're getting you're getting messages through your dream state about these two people. Okay. Cause when I say they, they've been getting exposed in my dream state like heavy for four days straight, four days in a row. Four days in a row. Okay. <laughs> Child, please. What's um what's this Jupiter in the reverse? Do some rituals, banishing spells, whatever you gotta do. But what's this um yeah, somebody's trying to win something at all costs. Okay. They they like the attention. They whoever this is, I feel like they ass getting exposed. But for some of you, yeah, somebody is just I, I don't know. Justice. What's this Jupiter in the reverse spirit? The four wands and the temperance child. <laughs> Aries, Venus, we got Sagittarius. So yeah, I feel like this is like protection. This could be protection over a divine union. Okay, for some of you, this is protection over your home. Uh, whatever support you have, I feel like you're still going to be supported. You're always going to be supported. In fact, you're getting even more support. But this is divine intervention. Peace and harmony being restored. Balance is being restored in your stability, your security, your 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 relationship here. Whatever this is, this could be like, I don't know if somebody wants to reunite with you. <laughs> somebody wants to reunite with you. This King of Swords in the reverse could be trying to get away from this third party. This this is this bitch having a reality check here. Okay, but I feel like they both are in their own way. This person here, this could be like family here. They want to reunite with you because they're getting bad karma, dealing with the wrong hoes, wanting to be a damn pimp or wanting to be somebody that they're not. They ran into the wrong bitch here. And now shit is backfiring. Okay. So this person could be trying to like sneak away or they're dealing with other people on the side. Okay. I feel like they're trying to drop this third party. They're trying to get away from this group, these friends or whoever they call their friends or whatever the fuck. But I feel like the way that they're going about it is not the right way. It's just going to get worse because they're not being real. They're not being real King of Swords in the reverse. So, but I feel like whatever I was saying before that was their plan. They wanted to go off, pillow talk with these hoes and lie about who you were and about why the relationship ended kind of is what I'm getting and all that. Now they got with a hoe that is dark. This person is a dark high priestess. They're a horrible mother. They, they don't have anything that the Empress has. No compassion, no empathy, sympathy. No, um, they don't take care of themselves. Somebody's dirty as fuck. I just feel like they're a loser. So what's the Four of Wands? <laughs> what's the Four of Wands here? Okay. Yeah, the Star and the Five of Wands. So there's like competition or <sighs> just all the time, child. So I feel like you're going into your North Node here with the Star. Okay. You could be um, in this creative energy. You could be very spiritual, a healer, an astrologer. Um, but I feel like you're creating. You're an individual. You're very free-spirited with that Aquarius energy. I feel like you're inventive, okay? Very, very creative, very artistic. And I feel like you're getting support with whatever it is that you create or build. Okay, spirit supports it. Your, um, your God supported. People in the community support it. Okay, you could be a part of a spiritual community. Whatever this is, is helping you to elevate. You're in your purpose. You're where you're supposed to be at. So somebody is like fighting. They want to fight or compete or whatever. What's the five of wands? They they don't. They're getting back on me. Just period. Yeah, the six of wands in reverse. It's a lot of people here. Leo, Jupiter. It's a lot of people with bad intentions. They're losing big time in life. Somebody that's fame hungry. They're clout chasing. What's the temperance? <laughs> okay. And then we got the five of cups. Yes, yeah, so somebody's sad. They're in regret because they're fighting with a clout chaser or just whatever they did. They got to deal with this karma. Just period. Somebody's like stressed. They're upset. They're disappointed. Or oh, whatever. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's pull a chakra insight oracle card. So this was drama cancer. <laughs> this was drama.
So we have number nine, intimacy, freedom, acceptance, and trust. And then we have relationships. I mean, it says relationships on there. Self-expression and forgiveness. Somebody here wants you to forgive them here. Visualization and communication. <laughs> Throat chakra, yeah. Somebody is like, they want to speak up. Okay, they want to say something to you. But let's see what these chakra cards are saying about you. Because this was about somebody else's ass. So it says, honor the beauty and the sacred in your relationships. Windows of soul, full connection, mirror reflection into yourself. So it's a, yeah, <laughs> this relationship is very significant to this person's awakening and yours too. But I feel like they, info, they, they getting it. Okay. Mm. So it say in the Mayan language, there is a phrase of reverence. Greeting that acknowledges one of the greatest gifts we bring to each other in a relationship, in re each other in relationships. The phrase is in la quiche, and it means I am another yourself. Similar to the Indian greeting namaste in la quiche is a recognition of the divine within each individual. This card is an invitation to consider your relationships with self and others in this way. To see those around you in their highest light and to acknowledge yourself within this light. Stop for a moment and reflect upon your primary relationships with friends, loved ones, family, and colleagues. Consider the balance of energy exchanged, the emotional wants and needs that each relationship gives and receives from you. Now is a good time to expand your respect for yourself and those with whom you share relationships. Look for the, relation look for the things that are great about your relationships and why you love the people you do. Explore your level of giving and your willingness to receive. Who do you hold back energy from and who do you perhaps overgive to in compensation for some insecurity or fear of loss? It is time to honor the beauty and the sacred in your relationships. Acknowledge your own needs and wants and honor the needs of others. Look for the hidden gifts in each other. Accept each person for who they are without trying to change or control them. Empower yourself to be with those who inspire you and to inspire those you are with. Recognize each relationship as a mirror reflection and a doorway to great, greater realization of your true self. Life is relationships. Support each other to grow and to shine. Yeah, there could be somebody from your past that this person here, they kind of like want to be on the same page as you. It's like they want to now believe in the things that you believe in. They, they want to value the connection more is what I'm getting. Okay, it's like somebody wants to be kinder. They want, they kind of like want to be open or flexible with you now. Whoever this is from your past that's learning a lesson about this dark high priestess or whatever. Still, give me a card here that's in, in, in alignment with um this prayer for cancer. So yeah, it's kind of like... So we got number 35, Horus, clear seeing, intention, and perspective. Yeah, number 20, St. Bridget, passion, fire, and growth. Okay. So it says, Horus is an ancient Egy Egyptian sky god who is depicted as a falcon or a man with the head of a falcon. The eye of Horus is traditionally used as a powerful protection amulet and a symbol of seeing, spiritual sight, and healing. Horus is known as god of king kingship, war, the sun and moon, perception, perspective, and intention, and he is the consort of Hathor. Whenever you need to see things more clearly, call on Horus. So the, the oracle, it says, look at things from a new and higher perspective. For your love and relationships, it says try to see things from other people's perspectives. Zoom out and look at your relationships as a whole rather than just based on one event or moment. For work, it says gain some clarity about your current work situation. Look for opportunity and possibility rather than seeing yourself as being stuck or not having choices. Look outside the box. It says for your home life, be open to making changes in the home you maybe hadn't thought of before. For example, switching rooms around, moving furniture, or even moving somewhere new. Stay open to new ideas and ways you can make your home life better. For your money, it says look at your finances with your third eye open. It's, in, it, it's possible you are better off than you realize, or perhaps you've been spending like a king and it's time to rein it in. Look at the truth of the situation. It says for your well-being, one of the best ways 
to get clarity is to rest. When you are busy all the time, your divine guidance has a hard time reaching you. Slow down, take breaks, get rest, and allow the clarity to come to you rather than searching for it. For spirituality, it says spend some time developing the practice of intention. We are often so quick to rush into spell work or manifestation practices without stopping to ask, why do we want this? When you know your why and it feels good in your heart, it's so much easier to align your goals and dreams and get there. Work with opening up your third eye to gain more spiritual insight. Hmm. Okay, so Horus is somebody good to work with? This God here? Okay. So give me a card here that's in alignment with this reading for Cancer. Like somebody sees things from your perspective but you know i feel like they're trying to like separate this shit that they got going on with this hoe from you and y'all's relationship so i mean if they're going to continue to play the field in that relationship or like try to still get away from that karmic they're still going to get karma it's like so they have to do this the right way you know what i'm saying all that wearing a poker face and trying to hide shit. It's just like, no, you need to be honest. You know, about where you're at, what you're doing, about how the relationship is affecting you or whatever. So it says, yeah, Mercury, communication and truth. <laughs> exactly. Number 24 says, Black Moon, Lilith, and Gemini, liberate your truth. <laughs> Child, why you need to tell the truth or be honest with themselves or something. But it says, um... When the Mercury Oracle card appears, it's time for you to tap into the alchemy of your thoughts, speech, and the written word. All is mind, and your words are the spells that fashion the masterpiece of your reality. This is the hermetic universal law called mentalism and a powerful manifestation practice to integrate during your alchemical journey. Your thoughts and words create the frequency and vibration that attract people, places, and things into your life. When you receive this card in an Oracle reading, the opportunity to speak publicly or step into the spotlight is also coming. Be confident in your voice and don't be afraid to share your ideas with the world. Your power to manifest is increasing. Harness it by channeling your thoughts in the direction of your dreams. Yeah, I feel like that's you. Queen of Swords with the world right here. Some of y'all are doing something online. Okay. Hmm. But it says Mercury is a messenger, master communicator, wordsmith, and cosmic magician. The planet Mercury is associated with the Greek god Hermes known as Thoth in Egypt. Hermes or Thoth was the scribe of the gods, the patron of writing, learning intelligence, astrology, magic, and alchemy. In astrology, Mercury represents communication, thought, and speech. It is, it is the closest planet to the sun and the fastest moving planet in the solar system. It rules over the air sign of Gemini and the earth sign of Virgo. Gemini rules over the social side of Mercury while Virgo is more analytical. Mercury in your chart determines how you channel information, from your imagination and into the physical world. Yeah. So this could be somebody wanting to communicate or this could be you. Needing to communicate to somebody. But I feel like somebody really wants to communicate, y'all. Or this could be you speaking your truth. This is you speaking your truth. Letting things be known, child. Because I feel like that's a part of your purpose. Your testimony here is going to help other people. Is what I'm getting, so. <laughs> I feel like you're going to let it be known that you can see somebody. Like, they're trying to be funny or plot or whatever the fuck. And I feel like you see right through their ass. It's, but, and then if you're getting ready to speak out about it, they're really going to be shook. But, okay. <laughs> oh, well. But this was your reading, Cancer. I hope this resonated. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn your notification bell on. Press the all button so you won't miss my readings. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.